Hey guys, it's David from Cali and Jordan Squad, and today we're going to be predicting the entire Crown Jewel wrestling card. So the Crown Jewel is an upcoming WWE wrestling pay-per-view and WWE event, and it's produced by the WWE, and it's for their Raw, SmackDown, and 205 Live brands. Um, it's going to take place this Sunday, this Sunday, sorry, this Thursday, October 31st. That, yes, you're correct, that is Halloween night. And it's at the King Fahd International Stadium in Raida, Saudi Arabia. So this will be the second crown jewel in WWE's 10-year partnership in support of Saudi Vision 2030. All right, so there's going to be lots of wrestlers, lots of matches. So let's get right to it. All right, so we're going to start off with the first match, and it's a singles match. It should be an interesting match. We've got Braun Strowman versus Tyson Fury. Everyone knows Tyson Fury is a boxer. He's not a wrestler. Um, he's had some promos at, in Raw and SmackDown, and they've been absolutely terrible. He comes in, I, I, like I realize, you know, if he's going to punch somebody, he's going to probably knock them out because he, you know, he's a boxer. But I'm like, he's missing by feet. Um, so. So th th this is going to be a tough one. I, For me, for how they've portrayed Braun Strowman in the last two years, uh, the monster among men, um, not many people can beat him. Um, it's going to be how can a guy that's not a wrestler take down such a strong brute as Braun Strowman. Um, but I'm going to pick Tyson Fury to win this match somehow. Um, even though I don't know. This is going <laughs> to... This match is going to be, I'm like, should be up here, and it's going to be, it's not going, I don't think it's going to be a good match at all, um, unless Tyson Fury has improved dramatically in the last couple of uh, weeks. Um, I just don't see this as being a very good match, um, and then I think this is going to, in the end, this is going to destroy Braun Strowman's reputation, because I'm like, it last two, three, four years, he's like, pulling trucks, he's picking up buses, um, he's been beating up like 20 guys at a time, and then they're going to have Tyson Fury come in and beat him, uh, but that's my pick, is going to be Tyson Fury, I hope this is a better match than what I'm thinking it's going to be, um, but my pick is Tyson Fury. Uh, the second match is a singles match for the WWE Championship. And this is also... So, Kane, Kane Velasquez was a UFC fighter. Um, he beat Brock Lesnar, what, 10 years ago for the UFC Heavyweight Championship? And they're getting their rematch on Crown Jewel. It's Brock Lesnar, the champion, versus Kane Velasquez. Um, again, who comes into the WWE and gets a title shot in their first match? I'm like, like, come on, guys. Like, we know what's going to happen here. Brock Lesnar is going to win. Um, w would it be cool if Kane wins? Yes, but I don't think he's, he hasn't really shown any wrestling chops. I'm like, the first time that he, it's going to be like just a bunch of hugging and I don't know. It's just, does not seem like it's going to be a good match at all. Um, my pick is going to be Brock Lesnar to win this one as well. Um, Cain Velasquez, he will become champion at some point. I just don't see it being in Saudi Arabia. Um, so, but but both those matches, you know, you got to look at the, both those matches. Both those matches have re have wrestlers that are from different sports, and I just don't see how that's a good idea. And they're against top. WWE talent as well. Um, yeah, so we, we've had like, we've had Floyd Mayweather defeat the Big Show. That's why I'm thinking Tyson Fury is going to beat Braun Strowman. Um, but yeah, I just don't. So, so, so Kane comes down. Um, Brock Lesnar wins the WWE Championship on SmackDown Live on their very first live event on Fox because they are on Fox now. Um, Rey Mysterio. Gets beat up by Brock Lesnar. His son, uh, Dominic, gets beat up by um, Brock Lesnar. Cain Velasquez comes in as he is the godfather of, of Dominic. And uh, 
Uh, he'd be, he, he, he very well could be. I'm not sure if that's an actual true storyline or not, but uh, yeah. He comes in, gives Brock Lesnar the fear of God, and now we've got the matchup. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not excited with these two matches. I think they have potential to be good matches, but I'm like, Tyson Fury, I'm like, he comes in and just, he does this, I'm like, if, 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 if the pumpkin is the, uh, is the, is the wrestler, I'm like, he's coming in like this, and like, missing, missing big time, so, not excited. Okay, let, let, let's get to the third match, and we've got, uh, Mansoor versus Cesaro. Mansoor is gonna win, um, he is from Saudi Arabia, um, so I'm pretty sure that they want, um, some Saudi wrestlers to win. So that's, that's my pick for that one. Uh, the fourth match is, okay, I'm going to be here for a while. It's a nine-team tag team turmoil match for the WWE World Cup. We've got the New Day, Kofi and Big E, versus the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivor, versus Heavy Machinery, Otis and Tucker, versus Lucha House Party, which will consist of two of the following three, Lince Dorado, Gray Metallic, and Callisto. Uh, versus Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Versus The Revival, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder. Versus The O.C., Luke Gallows and Ke uh, Carl Anderson. Versus Dolph Ziggler and uh, Rick Robert Roode. Versus The B-Team, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. My pick for this one, it's, it's kind of like they took all the tag teams and like, let's put them all in one match. Get the tag team match over in one shot. Um, my pick for this one's The New Day, Kofi and Big E going to win this one. Um... Xavier Woods is out for the year with a knee injury, which is horrible for the New Day. Um, you know, I hope for a speedy recovery for Xavier Woods. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel, um, Up Up Down Down. <laughs> um, they they play video games, a fun video, a, a fun channel. But um, yeah, so the New Day is going to win this one. Kofi and Biggie. The fifth match is a Falls Count Anywhere match for the WWE Universal Championship. The, this match cannot be stopped for any reason. We've got the champion, the Universal Champion, Seth Rollins versus The Fiend, Bray, Bray Wyatt. These guys fought in the last pay-per-view, which I'm sorry I did not do a, um, a prediction video for that. Um, where, actually, these two fought at that point in Hell in Cell. And it became a no contest. So no one won. I think Seth Rollins had like seven curb stunts on The Fiend. And The Fiend just kept getting up. Um, this one could go into the crowd. This one could go anywhere. Falls count anywhere. So it could go anywhere. My pick for this one is Seth Rollins. And only because they, they've already changed The Fiend to go to SmackDown. Seth Rollins and the Universal Championship is on, is on um, the U.S. Network for Raw. So my pick for this one is going to be, of course, Seth Rollins, the champion. He's going to retain. The Fiend is going to go to SmackDown. But I'm like, the, the Fiend, Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar, is that going to be a good match at some point? Eh, who knows, actually. It might actually, it might actually be a decent match. Uh, match number six is a 20-man battle royal. The winner faces AJ Styles for the United States Championship. We've got Sunil Singh versus Mojo Rowley versus Eric Rowan versus R-Truth versus Sin Cara versus The Brian Kendrick versus Tyson O'Neill versus Tony Nese versus Akira Tozawa versus Shelton Benjamin, versus Apollo Crews, versus Buddy Murphy, versus Andrade, versus Dr uh, Drake Maverick, versus, versus Eric Young, versus Luke Harper, versus Cedric Alexander, versus um, Heath Slater, versus Huberto Carrillo, versus No Way Jose. Um, a, lot of, a lot of wrestlers there. Uh, my pick for this one will probably be Shelton Benjamin. Um, will Shelton Benjamin leave Saudi Arabia with the United States Championship? That'd be kind of cool. I'm like, they brought, they, they brought Shelton Benjamin back a few, what, a year ago? He did win the Tag Team Championship with, uh, with Gable, but he hasn't done anything since. I'm like, they're just wasting talent. Um, so, I think Shelton Benjamin's going to win this one. And, of course, the eighth match is a singles match for the WWE United States Championship. We've got AJ Styles, the champion, versus, if I'm correct, Shelton Benjamin. 
Um, my pick for this one is if Shelton wins, I think Shelton's going to win it. Um, if AJ Styles, I mean, if anyone else wins the Battle Royal, I think it's going to be AJ Styles that wins, that retains the championship. Um, but yeah, that's a tough one to pick because I don't know who it's going to be. Um, Andre could win it, you know, Andre could win it, Shelton Benjamin can win it. There's a lot of guys that can win it. I, I'm, I'm still picking Shelton Benjamin. I think he's going to win it. And I just want to go back to the tag, to that tag team match before because, um, the one team that I'm hoping does well and maybe and maybe could um, win is Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Uh, Zack Ryder is an unbelievable wrestler in his own right. Uh, I think that would be the only other interesting part of that 19 tag team match. Um, I think it'd be. I hope it's between the New Day and or uh, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Uh, the Vikings Raiders are just huge guys as well and heavy machinery, so it should be a pretty good matchup. Um, yeah, it, it should be a good tag team match. I'm like, but yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna go with, I'm still gonna go with the New Day. The last match is a 10-man tag team match, and it's between Team Hogan versus Team Flair. So we've got for Team Hogan, Roman Reigns, Rusev, Ricochet, Shorty G, which is Gable, and Ali, with Hulk Hogan by their side. Versus Team Flair, which includes Randy Orton, King Corbin, Bobby Lashley, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Drew McIntyre with Ric Flair. On paper, I'm, I'm thinking um, Team Flair. Like Team Flair's, is, Team Flair's team is loaded. You know, you have the Viper, Randy Orton. You have King Corbin, who's just won the um, King of the Ring. I don't like King Corbin, but... He, he has won some. Uh, Bobby Lashley is a big hulking guy. Shinsuke Nakamura is the Intercontinental Championship Champion. And Drew McIntyre is a guy that should be the WWE Champion. Uh, but he's not, for some reason. He's not getting the push. So I, I, I think those wrestlers are actually probably better than... But, well, Roman Reigns, I think, is the best wrestler ever of them all. But I'm like, Rusev, Ricochet, Shorty G, and Ali... But I'm like, there's just nothing, you know, you've got, it's going to be the end of the, it's probably going to be the end of the um, event. And we're going to have, right, when Hulk Hogan's team wins, you're going to have Hulk Hogan's music come up. He's going to do his, his uh, posing and stuff like that. Um, and that is why I'm picking Team Hogan. I, on paper, it should be Team Flair, but I'm going with Team Hogan because it's the entertainment aspect of it. And they're going to want, they're going to want Hogan in all his glory. You, they want that music to hit at the end of the night and start posing. The crowd's going to just take, tear, take the roof off the stadium. And, uh, yeah, so my pick is going to be Team Hogan to win this. All right, so what is your picks? Who do you think is going to win? Are you excited for this? It is on Halloween. Now, it's in Saudi Arabia, so I think it starts at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'll be working. Um, kids will be going to school. A lot of people will probably be working. Um, but what matches are you excited about? Um, are you excited about Tyson Fury? Are you excited about Cain Velasquez? Um, do you think that they're going to be better? What are they doing with the tag team division? Um, do you want The Fiend to beat Seth Rollins? I'm a Seth Rollins guy, so of course I want Seth Rollins to retain the championship. Um... Is AJ going to retain the United States Championship? There's a there's some intriguing matches here, um, but also some matches that could make this night a uh, living. Oh, they might be the WWE might be saying, "Why do we do that?" At the end of the day, um, all right. So comment down below who you think is going to win. Remember to subscribe to the Cali and Joy Squad. Hit that notification button so you don't miss it on any of your videos. Smash that thumbs up button. Share with your friends. Until next time. Peace out. Bye.